Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create that dynamic SWOT or SWOT design for your PowerPoint slide. And before we get started here, just wanna let you know that the process is perfectly the same across all devices. So please stay in the video. And basically the things I'm gonna show you here were just gonna be guides. The output here would be by your own skill set, and the limit here would be your imagination. So let's get started. On your blank page, I'm going to take you step by step here. Um, right click on the page and click or hover your mouse on grid and guides. You should see add a vertical guide, so please click on it. And then add another one for horizontal guide right now. So you should see a little bit more transparent X or cross right there as a guide. After adding that one, right click again, click on format background, and basically click on grid and fill. Now for some reason you see more than two um, gradient stops there. Just remove them and follow as it is. I have this one on the side because it's going to be 54% and the other one is going to be all the way on the right. And then the position will be or direction will be this one on the bottom left or rather bottom the bottom right. Now after applying that format background I'm going to insert a shape. On this part right here I'm going to choose this one. The rounded corners not the regular rectangle. So please choose the rectangle or rather rounded corners. I'm going to insert right there. Now, before I let this go, I just want to let you know that there is no specific measurement that you need to follow here. It's just given to you by your own instinct. So I'm satisfied with this one. I'm going to click on it. And then basically with this one, I can move it as it is. Now, next thing, I'm going to make sure I have no outline. And then making sure this one, I have a different color. So I'm just going to follow the same color I have on the gradient, much like this one right here. And then basically, next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to edit it as a box. Next thing, you'll see this uh, yellow button. You can adjust this one to adjust the shape or rather the rounded corner as you see fit. So I'm going to go with this one, a little bit more square, but we still have the rounded corner. So next thing is going to be inserting a text. So insert text, text box right there. Place it inside and you're just going to type the letter S. So you might ask me why the letter S? The video is about SWOT and basically we're going to make four slides that has SWOT. So for this one, I'm going to adjust the um, size. If I need more, I'm just going to click on that upsize right there and I'm going to place it as so. Another thing I want to take note of is the font type or font design. So you can choose anything you want here. You can choose anything that you want to try out. For example, if I'm using AdLab Display, you can use AdLadia over here. Again, guys, you can choose whatever you want here. It doesn't mean I'm using this one. You should use it. So next thing, I'm going to color it white. And also, I'm going to group it as one. So make sure you highlight both. And then basically click on right click and then click on group. The purpose for that one is if you move it as it is, you can do or rather you can you won't have any problem. So next thing, it's going to be inserting another shape. But for now, we're going to use that rectangle. Just place it on the right side, lower right. Make sure you cover the edges like so. So I'm just going to fix this one very quickly here. I'm going to place it all the way on the edge. And then I'm going to place this one at the edge also. So this will be a guide. And basically, make sure this is have no outline. And then click on format shape. Make sure this has no line also. This one right there. And then change the color, of course, with the same color of the box. This one right there. And basically, we're good now. Now, we, st we can still see it, but it's just going to be a guide later on. Next thing you should add is going to be a text box. So insert a text box right here. Choose text box and place it on this side right here. Now, you can type whatever here, whatever you want. It's just going to be for discussion purposes. So I'm going to type in sample sentence for discussion purposes. I'm going to make sure it's visible. Check the sentences or rather spelling. Now then change the font size. Font type. Make sure everything is good. And then I'm going to choose a different one because these are not going to be a tile. For example, this one right there. And then I'm now I'm going to insert another text box. Like so. And for this one, since this is S, represent the word strength. So I have added a title right there to make it highlight. Change the font size. And then change the font size also. Make sure it's going to be on bold. 
change the color to the same color of your box. So basically the idea here is that we're gonna make four slides with this specific outline. And basically we just finished the outline. So from here, we can just duplicate the slide. Now after duplicating a slide, I'm gonna change direction of the gradient. I'm gonna move it on the lower left now. And then I'm gonna choose click this one, make sure everything is going with me, like so. And then basically I'm gonna move it on this side of the um, slide. And remember this guide, since it's now gonna be in the lower left, I'm gonna move it on the lower left now. Let me just fix this one. It's go going over the screen and then make sure this is on the lower left. Now next thing, this um, title, of course place it right here and place this one over here. So another tip for you, if you don't want to manually move everything, make sure you highlight everything first, both of them. And then simply if you have it highlight both of them, give me a second here, right click and click on group. To move on with the next design, simply duplicate slide right here. And for now, before we duplicate almost forgot since this is going to be SWOT, this now will be W. Make sure you fix it. We're going to change the color of course. Let's go now with a little bit more purple. Give me a second here. I'm going to go for purple. And of course, I'm going to change everything also, likewise. So for this one, I'm going to go with purple. And basically, for the gradient background, of course, we're going to change it to a little bit more purple. This one right there. And for this one, I'm going to go now all the way to the back. Because this is going to be more focused on, on this side right here. Again, 54%. Make sure everything is good. So to change it, we're going to change this as weakness now. Like so. And change this color, of course, with the same color we have as it is. Perfect. Now we have two designs now. Let's move on with the third one. Now SWOT, this should be letter O now. Okay. I'm going to make letter O. Uppercase O. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to move it as please. So this is going to be bottom right. This is going to be top or lower left. And this right now would be upper left. So first things first, move this on the top section. Followed by letter O. Give me a second here. It's not following me. So highlight it. Place it right there. It's not really following me. I don't know why. Perfect. Now don't forget this magic guide right there and basically for this one move it on this part of the side and make sure the change now is going to be the gradient so for the direction make sure you just follow which is the direction of your box so right now top left go for top left right there make sure change color for now let's go with green this one right here change the color of the gradient to green give me a second here perfect do i have the same color I think not. I think so. So basic for this one, make sure this is black. Like so. Change the color to green also. This one right here. Of course, the other one to green also. Of course, the strength right now would be change the color green with a different tile right now. So since this is going to be a letter O, I'm going to put in opportunities here. Like so. Change it a little bit. Perfect. Now we just made a third slide. We're just one down more. So basically again, duplicate. Now since this is going to be an upper left, of course, we're going to place the next one on the upper right. Like so. Place this one right there. And then the magic guideline on the top corner. This one will be placed now on this section right here. So just, just going to be facing each other. And then the design or the direction will be, of course, top right. The color for this one right now will be letter T. Let me just change it first. Now for letter T, we're going to go now with threats. This one right here. And then color. For now, I'm going to go, I want to see a little bit more blue. Blue right there. Another blue over here. Now next one, color this tiled color blue, of course. Let's not forget about it. Make sure it's blue. Of course, the gradient feel also make it blue, like so. So we just made four slides. Next thing is going to add the zoom motion. So for this one on the very top section, just click add slide and move this one on the very top section right there. Now for that additional slide right here, basically, 
first thing I want to do is going to change the layout to a blank page like so. Now after making it as a blank layout, click on insert section. You should see this option that says zoom. Click on slide zoom right there. Make sure everything is selected like so. Give me a second here. Click on insert. And now basically like a puzzle, we're going to now add it as one. So let's start with the threads. Make sure everything is inserted properly. Now for the next one, this one right here. Of course, now moving on with the W and War Weakness. Click it over here. And then the first one, of course, is going to be Strength. Place it right there. Now you should see it like so. And then, almost forgot, we should now click on the threads. Make sure it's going to be here. Click on Zoom. Click on Return Zoom. So it will return later on. Because this is going to be the last one. Threads. And also highlight everything by clicking Shift, Control. Making sure everything is highlighted. Click on Zoom Border. Click on No Outline. do remove everything. And basically that's it. You are done now. Let's now check it if it's working properly by clicking on this button right here. Start from beginning or F5. I'm going to click it right now. As you can see right here, it's moving as it is. How powerful is that, right? So that being said, that's why I said SWOT because basically it's going to be SWAT. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.